Hey everybody, this is Joe Joseph and this is the DailySheeple.com's news shot. So, to MedicalExpress.com, that's Fizz.org's medical side of the house. Pretty cool information. If you've never gone and looked at Medical Express at Fizz, those are two websites that really highlight a lot of cutting-edge research into medicine and also... Uh, cutting-edge quantum physics, things like that, all sorts of stuff, cornucopia of information on these sites. Anyway, um, they uh, have highlighted this cancer vaccine that eliminates tumors in mice, totally and completely eliminates them. This is out of Stanford University Medical Center. It says, injecting minute amounts of two immune-stimulating agents directly into solid tumors and mice can eliminate all traces of cancer in all in the animals, including distant, untreated metastases. And the approach works for many types of different cancers, including those that arise spontaneously, according to the study. The researchers believe the local application of very small amounts of the agents could serve as a rapid and relatively inexpensive cancer therapy that's unlike to, unlikely to cause adverse side effects often seen with body-wide immune stimulation. Um... There's a quote here by Ronald Levi, uh, Ronald Le- Levi. He's a professor of oncology at Stanford University Medical Center. He said, when we use these two agents together, we see the elimination of tumors all over the body. This approach bypasses the need to identify tumor-specific immune targets and doesn't require wholesale activation of the immune system or customization of a patient's immune cells. Now, one agent is currently already approved for use in humans, The other has been tested for human use in several unrelated clinical trials. Um, A clinical trial was launched in January to test the effect of the treatment in patients with lymphoma. Now, uh, Levi is a pioneer in the search in the field of uh, cancer immunotherapy, in which researchers try to harness the immune system and combat the cancer. Researchers in the laboratory, in his laboratory, led the development of uh, rituximab, one of the first monoclonal antibodies approved for use as an anti-cancer treatment in humans. And uh, some immunotherapy approaches rely on stimulating the immune system throughout the whole body. Others, called CAR T-cell therapy, uh, treat leukemias and lymphomas, require a patient's immune cells to be removed from the body and genetically engineered to attack the tumor. And many of these approaches have been successful, but they have a, a... some pretty big downsides from difficult to handle side effects to high cost, lengthy preparation or treatment times that um, the CAR T cell therapy is one of those very difficult uh, to and, and time consuming to harvest the cells necessary to treat specifically leukemia and lymphomas. So it's, you can't use that across the vast array of cancers. Now, interestingly enough, Dr. Royal Rife years ago um, invented a machine that actually used frequency to destroy cancer, just sound waves, and it was very successful. Dr. Antoine Priori over in France used longitudinal EM waves or electromagnetic waves to totally eradicate cancer back in the 60s. So I find it interesting that they want to use something uh, of the, along the lines of monoclonal because what monoclonal is is a chimeric medicine. And these chimeric medicines, basically, they, they're incognito. They just, they're almost like um, little secret agents that go through your body, but inside them are animal DNA. So that is what the immune system is going to attack. So they inject this animal DNA into the cell and then your immune system specifically attacks that animal DNA. But the problem is that animal DNA also gets into your system and becomes part of you. You don't lose it. So, and that's some of the dangers of of our standard vaccines today. Some of our vaccines are monoclonal. And, um, very toxic to the human body. However, you know, in this case, if you're taking a look at, man, you know, I got this uh, tumor, won't go away, very aggressive 
however you want to call it, what's the lesser of two evils? You know, here is that you have a monoclonal uh, vaccine that's going to give me a chance to live because they don't want to go down the road of, you know, frequency therapy or even uh, EM therapy. So we're just going to go ahead down this road. You know, a lot of people out there when it comes to cancer, they like to jump in and go down the road of, oh, you know, marijuana cures cancer and this and uh, what else was there? Yeah. Uh, B17, vitamin B17, and granted, they work wonderful and have caused, uh, have shown great promise as far as uh, being used as one of many ways to fight cancer. But you have to understand, because the human body, because we're all unique, like a fingerprint, um, one mode of treatment may not work for you, but may work for somebody else. You know, I've seen a lot of people that have gone down the road of totally holistic therapy and had great success. I've seen other people go down the road of holistic therapy and die just because it didn't work. So it all depends on your physiology. That's why it's so important that we find as many ways possible to kill these cancer cells. The other thing too that's very interesting is, you know, there's no money in cures. So while a lot of science may have the best, your best interest at heart, getting big pharma to go and buy, on, buy into this is going to be what is interesting to see if this shows great promise. So check it out, medicalexpress.com, not just the cancer research, just all sorts of medical research, cutting-edge me medical research information, as well as phys.org, its sister site. If you want to see what's going on in the realm of physics, in the scientific world, some of the cutting-edge research there, some of the new uh, products that are being developed, uh, just unbelievable information. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Hashtag wake the flock up. Have a great day, everybody.